Hey, what's going on, guys? DJS here, bringing you guys a video. Wanted to uh, have a little discussion video on uh, Air Force Ones and your guys' thoughts on Air Force Ones. Do you like them or not? And do you think that there has been a huge decline in Air Force Ones and and limited releases? And uh, you know, it's, it kind of goes without saying that the Air Force Ones seem to have fallen off, at least um, on the West Coast. I know Air Force Ones are, are mainly an East Coast kick, from what a lot of people claim. Um, but uh, but man, obviously, since Nelly's song Air Force One uh, back back in the day. Uh, they've, they've had a lot of, um, they've, they've had a, like a huge surge in popularity and then a huge decline from what I've seen lately. But first of all, I want to show you the, the old school Nike, uh, box here for the Air Force One mids, the white ones. 43 bucks is what I paid for these ones. Check out that box. Pretty, uh, the old school Nike one. Love those. Um, anyway, so that, that's the box for these guys right here. The Air Force One mids. I personally think that like every collection, like if you're a sneakerhead, like every, every collection needs like a pair of Air Force Ones. I mean... Uh, all whites uh, or all blacks at least um, but I mean that's just my opinion I mean you guys can agree to disagree it's all good these are actually DS but look at how dirty these are right here so I, I'm pretty sure I can clean that off um, these are dirty uh, these are the ones I wear you can see that the toe box is just beat to hell and then yeah and then so uh, I have a, a pair of black patent leather uh, Air Force ones that I wear as well and the smoke bottom on them I really like those ones actually they're, they're pretty fresh just something to wear with like a black like t-shirt and hat or whatever i mean or a white t-shirt and hat i mean that's that was the concept that i got when i bought those and then here's the 25 year air force ones these things are actually pretty wicked the the quality of the leather is just insane on these things and then you can see it's like kind of a crocodile print and then you can see um on the back tap there is carbon fiber and then on the bottom as well smoky kind of clear and the air air pockets kind of inside of there it's pretty awesome looking um has a 25 year air force uh, tag on it right there and all in all like these are just they're heavy but they're really comfortable shoes i always uh, wear them with the, the the strap open this is the pair that i have ds I actually have two pairs of those ones um and uh, i just I, I really like those ones in particular but i'm gonna go ahead and sit this down and chat uh with you guys while we discuss this like so the thing is is i think obviously there was a big in increase in in air force one sales back in the day Rashid Wallace is is a huge contributor to the reason why that is um he would always rock Air Force Ones when he'd play uh hoops when he'd, when he'd actually play ball which is kind of funny like she used to play for the Blazers and stuff and it for the nightclub events and stuff that I would help promote um and uh I didn't DJ at that time but when I would help promote these events in Portland uh like Rashid Wallace and Amari Stoudemire or not Amari Stoudemire um Damon Stoudemire and and uh, uh man Bonzi Wells a bunch of other Blazers would always come through these uh these events it was pretty pretty wild but um anyway Rashid Wallace like really like the the fingerprint of of uh the Air Force One then you have like Nelly who did the song obviously the Air Force Ones back then like the the sales for Air Force Ones were crazy you had limited uh releases you know the Entourage episode where they had the the limited edition Air Force Ones or whatever everybody was going um crazy over and stuff but it seems like nowadays like the the releases that come out are not for Air Force Ones at all. Like even for the All Star Pack, there was one pair of of Lunar Four Air Force Ones, which was like the the 30 year anniversary version of the uh, Air Force Ones that they're trying to promote. But what do you guys think about the Air Force Ones in general now? Like do you do you like Air Force Ones? Do you not like them? Do you think that the the limited releases don't <clears throat> don't appeal to you, or do you think that they're not even making limited releases anymore? And my my theory is this. It went from one of those shoes that that they had out on the shelves, um, and they they sold out like everywhere. You couldn't go to a factory outlet that and or a factory store or a Nike store and find a pair of all white Air Force Ones or find a pair of uh, black Air Force Ones or whatever. Like they made so many of them, um, but but they sold out really really quick. But I think that they it, this is this is why I think that a lot of you guys don't really understand the supply and demand of a market, and you guys are saying. You know, make for the Jordans and everything else. Make make a just make enough for everybody. But that's that's the problem. This is the problem. The Air Force One is a prime example, and I'm pretty sure Nike is not going to let this happen um, for some of these other high demand shoes again. At least I hope not, because once you saturate the market with a pair of sneakers, and not only can you get the a full size run of Air Force Ones in white, black red purple green yellow whatever colors they have at the store they're everywhere if you go to Foot Locker or wherever um i mean at least in my neck of the woods they're everywhere they have a full size run of every single uh shoe that comes out so i mean that's that's kind of my like take on it like 
it they they met and exceeded market there was a huge market for it they overproduced everything they made a thousand different colorways they they had limited ones that were hard to get but they also had generic ones that were really no different than the the limited ones other than like themed colorways like the playstation uh uh air force ones or whatever it might be um meanwhile you have like dunks that kind of are the same kind of thing but the dunks at least they have like the nike sb dunks where they're somewhat limited and, and those actually had a big um it seemed like the, the market was saturated a handful of years ago as well with the blue boxes at least and from what i because I, I mean at least for myself because i didn't buy any blue boxes uh, I, I bought all the pink boxes you can see back here um, or not actually you can't even see them I just have a handful of them um, but I have pink boxes back here and then I don't have any um, blue boxes I have one purple box and then a handful of the new ones because uh, I really like what they're doing with the newer SBs but but I think it, it comes to the point where you saturate the market so much with a sneaker and the the demand goes down and then you, nobody really wants them because every, anybody can get them so that's the only reason why I bring it up is you know I want to know your guys opinion on on this am i totally off base or have you guys noticed the air force ones have like had a huge de decline um through the last handful of years but um do you think there's any bounce back for the air force ones because for me air force ones are like the they were like the premium versions of like a dunk like they're like the the better more expensive version of a dunk at least that's what it, the way it's it's been like visualized in my head through the years but but yet the they can't sell like like the dunks can um nowadays and and then of course you have all the new the new stuff but you consider like the the type of a build of let's say like one of these versus like a Jordan uh 4 like this i mean this is the same era more or less uh of sneakers i mean the same i don't know maybe this is a little bit newer but it's it's the same sort of era in sneakers and it's like all retro it's 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 super retro and and um and there's there can be demand but i mean we'll just see what what ends up happening but uh, I don't know. I'm rambling now. I just want to know your guys' thoughts. Air Force Ones washed up or not? And if if uh, if they are washed up, like what can Nike do to bring them back? If you think that anything can they can do the Lunar Forces or the Lunar Air Force Ones actually is a pretty cool thing because they're actually a lot lighter and the the soles and stuff look like they're a lot more comfortable. Um, but that was that was one step, you know. Like what what else can they do to uh, to revive the the name? I guess of the Air Force One. Uh, let me leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have Air Force Ones or anything related to this, like, again, um, create a video response and have a discussion on Air Force Ones, man. I'll approve it, and I'll, I'll check out the videos for sure. Because uh, I'm curious, definitely curious what people um, think about this, especially East Coast folks. Because um, I don't know, you know, out here on the West Coast, it's, I don't know if they're as... Uh, they're obviously more prevalent in uh, in the East Coast. But that's all I got. Uh, it's been long enough. Have a good one, guys. We'll catch you guys for another vid soon. And thanks for stopping in. Peace.